Scientists believe that our universe was formed from a massive explosion of energy and light, which is considered the singular beginning of everything that exists today. In the early 1920s, while examining distant galaxies with his telescope, Edwin Hubble observed clusters of light moving away from each other at high speeds, still influenced by the initial explosion. The universe, illuminated by the formation of stars, holds many secrets about life and promises new adventures with the death of stars. Imagine compressing a star 10 times the size of the sun into an area the size of your city. The gravity resulting from this compression would be so powerful that nothing, not even light, could escape its pull. The birth of a black hole causes all surrounding objects to be drawn into its gravitational field as if swallowed by the black hole. This idea has been discussed for centuries and was first incorporated into Einstein's theory of general relativity. According to this theory, a dying star leaves behind a small, dense core. If this core is three times the size of the sun, the resulting gravity overcomes all other forces, creating a black hole. Scientists cannot directly observe black holes using telescopes that detect light and x-rays, but they can determine their locations by studying other celestial bodies affected by black holes. For example, if a star passes close to a black hole, it will be pulled into the void and the black hole will tear the star apart. The fragments will heat up due to their speed and emit x-rays into space. While science has significant knowledge about the formation of black holes, the fact that they form in two different dimensions is an important area of research. On one hand, there are stellar black holes, which form from the remnants of large stars and are 10 to 24 times the size of our sun. Most stellar black holes are nearly impossible to detect due to their distance from us. However, scientists estimate that there could be up to 10 million or even a billion black holes in the Milky Way galaxy alone. On the other hand, there are supermassive black holes that are millions or even billions of times larger than the sun. Astronomers believe that these black holes exist at the center of every sufficiently large galaxy. In fact, it is believed that a supermassive black hole exists at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Astronomers have, for the first time, detected a small star being drawn toward this object, known as Sagittarius. The star, named S2, was found to be moving toward the black hole at 30% of the speed of light, or 347.618 million kilometers per hour. Stars are massive clouds of gas that collapse in on themselves due to their own gravity. Hydrogen atoms in the core are converted into helium through nuclear fusion, defining the structure of the center. Fusion in the core creates a counteracting force against gravity, maintaining the overall balance of the star. In other words, as long as fusion occurs in the core, the star will continue to exist stably. Unlike our sun, fusion in the cores of much larger stars leads to the formation of heavy elements through heat and pressure. As the iron element grows and lacks any counteracting force, the star begins to lose its balance between fusion and gravity. The core collapses under the force of gravity and, within a very short time, compresses a large amount of mass, causing an explosion known as a supernova. Ultimately, all the mass collapses into a black hole. This extremely dense region, where matter and light are drawn in, contains singularity, one of the greatest mysteries of the universe. It is believed to hold the knowledge that could transform us into an intergalactic species capable of traveling faster than the speed of light.